I was drawn to filmmaking through its power as a medium for social and political commentary. I was so affected by films at a young age that I, I saw that films could really challenge people's perceptions, ideologies, and it's one of the most powerful mediums of art, I believe, that we have. When I realised that I could pursue a, a, a life in film, it was, you know, it was a no-brainer for me. I sort of began that journey at 19 at art college, and uh, the rest is history. I've had a very varied career because I've, I've tried since day one to maintain a balance of short form work in commercials and music videos with longer form narrative features and my beginning was documentary. So I've actually shot, I believe it's maybe 45 countries I've shot in now. That's been an amazing journey and a very privileged way to see the world. I think it's very important for me creatively to vary the type of work I'm taking and I've always looked for that diversity. I find limitations can lead to creativity. Every year I try to do smaller charity jobs. Music videos have always been an amazing playground, aesthetically. I think it's good for the soul, creatively, to bounce between jobs where you have trucks and trucks of lighting filling a street and anything you want is at your disposal. And then to go into spaces and sort of hark back to my early days in documentary where you're a lot more limited and you're looking at what space offers you aesthetically already, how you can shape that with minimal tools. And I find that very grounding. And I think a lot to be said, not just with the equipment that we use or the budgets even, but just doing projects with a much smaller crew. Commercials are a very interesting medium because you're very often already locked in from the moment I sign on board a project. A treatment's been being worked on for sometimes months with a director and an advertising agency. A very clear aesthetic has been designed and chosen, and it's our job as cinematographers to deliver a very exacting aesthetic based on maybe other work, film references, photography. And you're coming in and you're, you need to be able to recreate exactly how they want it to look, which for me was an amazing training ground because I would be shooting in a style that would be alien to me. But it's an amazing journey to, to, to go on. I worked a lot with Panelux. You need reliability, you need the right people. And it's the same thing with the technicality of lighting. Knowing that you can speak to people on the phone who, who know the equipment. Not just your gaffer, not just my, my, my focus pullers, but actually knowing that you're dealing with people who understand the equipment and care about it. You know, they're invested in your projects. That's important. There's not many lens formats or lens, lenses globally that I've not, I've not used, at least tested or shot with at some point. For me, it's about breaking down the character of each lens, what it is you're looking for, what I'm trying to convey aesthetically for that particular project. There is such a wealth of variety of Panavision glass that you know I've been very fortunate to use almost all of it over, over my career. Panavision have been part of my career since the earliest days. I remember shooting small music videos, going off with a tiny camera package to northern France. Off we'd go with, with Panavision glass, and that journey became a relationship. It's, it's just like a, it's like a family and I've always felt very supported by Panavision.